Welcome to Kachi Vachi. I am Jordan. This is Enoch, and we are here today to talk to you about the Brother Innovus BQ3100. So this machine is absolutely geared towards quilters. It's got a massive throat space, and it has some pretty exciting features that you can determine if it's something that's exciting to you or is like, eh, maybe not. I don't know the exact kind of price point. You'd probably be looking in the like 5,000, 4,500 kind of range for this machine. It's an upgrade of their 3050 that has been a long time coming, except it doesn't really upgrade all of that that much. So that being said, let's get into some of the features. Number one thing this machine has is 11 inches of throat space and it's heavy. So when you're quilting, that makes a big difference because you can put a rather large quilt rolled up in there to do a good size, at least probably queen size, and you're gonna have that room to actually do some quilting. It's great if you like doing rulers and stuff like that, because you really need more than like the standard five to eight inches of quilting space to do ruler work. Absolutely, this would be a machine that would be great for that. It comes with an extension table, it comes with all your like quilting goodies, like your walking foot, your, well, their electronic walking foot. They have a special name for it that annoys me, <laughs> and so I don't even like to say it. It's their move it foot, <laughs> which is just dumb because it's spelled M-U-V-I-T, which I don't know. I don't like gimmicky like that. So <laughs> whatever. Um, but it is their digital walking foot, and then it has like your free motion quilting foot, your quarter inch foot, all those like basic things that you would potentially want applique type feet, stuff like that. So you're not going to be having to invest much more else into your hardware when it comes to your craft. So that's a nice thing when you get something at this level. You're not going to hold it yourself. So that's a nice thing when you get something at this level. This is their like Mac Daddy sewing only sewing machine. So they consider it like the advanced. It's got all the bells and whistles. You have a push button, your needle is threaded. You're not going to get a better needle threader pretty much across the board in the industry, at least in my estimation. And anything that you're paying for above that is just going to be the same needle threader on a slightly more fancy machine. So it does have a really nice needle threader. I will hands down give it to brother baby lock all the way on that one. Um, it has a guide beam which can be useful. I don't find it to be like excessively useful. It's good for half square triangles. <laughs> Thank you, I'm not hungry. <laughs> it's good for half square triangles that are small, like two and a half and under pretty much. Maybe you could get away with a three inch, definitely not five inch. It's, you're still gonna have to draw those lines. And so it's the functionality and is it worth the extra thousand dollars or so from the step down of this machine? Definitely not to me. Comes with their sensor pin, or they call it, they have a, another name for it. And it's essentially a pin where you can like touch the spot on your quilt and say, stop quilting here, stop my decorative stitch here, and it's gonna grade it and stop it at that point. Can be useful. It's not something most people are gonna use every day. So it's one of those like, you can weigh those things out for yourself as to whether the expense is worth the experience that you get when doing those things because sometimes they work and sometimes I find with that like that it doesn't necessarily end exactly where I want it because it has to have a teensy bit of wiggle room. I mean it's going to land within at least a quarter of an inch for sure um, but it depends kind of on the density of the design that you're stitching. Straight lines you're probably pretty good. Some of your decorative stitches though I found that there's just a little bit more draw depending on how far out it is and it doesn't land or nail exactly where I'd want it. Personal experience, not gonna be super precise. I'm not doing that kind of like minutia, quilt show worthy quilts the majority of the time. So it's not something that I find myself actually using all that much. And for that price point, personally, I think there are far better quilting machines out there, like the Janome 6700 or the M7, maybe a Bernina, but probably not in that price point. I, I think I have nostalgia about Bernina just because it's the machine I grew up on and I actually don't really like the actual 
like experience of sewing on them in comparison these days. So yeah, that being said, this machine has a new feature that they've had on some of their other higher end embroidery sewing combos, and that is a diagonal or a lateral sewing or stitching, which can be really, really cool. Um, it's again, not going to be something that you're going to use every day or that's going to be for every quilter. But if you're doing a lot of like box quilting or small, very linear quilting, if I were stitching a box, then I would stitch down, drop my needle, pivot my quilt, stitch down, drop my needle, pivot, and do that until I made my way over on the box. With this, you don't have to do that. Uh, you could literally just stitch down and then punch button and it will stitch laterally, which means it's just moving your quilt, just those like 8, 10, 12, however long you're stitching it, and then stitch a button, and it's going to stitch backwards. And then you hit the button, stitch the other direction. So you're not having to rotate the whole bulk of your quilt. You're just letting it move across that surface, like the 10 to 12 inches, or I probably wouldn't do too much more than 10 to like a max out of probably 20 inches. Just because you would have to be like rolling your quilt some in there. I don't know. I don't even think I'd go 20 inches, maybe 15. So 10 to 15 inches worth of like lateral quilting is really great and super functional for a lot of people, especially if you do a lot of straight line quilting. That could be really amazing. It's not exclusive to this machine or this company though. So that being said, weigh out the pros and cons, see if it's something that you like. Go stitch on the machine at a local store, if at all you have that as an option. If you don't, I would check out some of the links below. They are affiliate links, but you can do compares and see what features this machine has that maybe some others do have also at a potentially a better price point, or that those other machines have features that you value greater than what this one is. And that's oftentimes the case for many of the customers that I have seen and shared experiences with. So I hope this was helpful for you. I hope that you like the sounds and sights of babies and videos. If you do, absolutely hit the like button, subscribe to our channel for more content like this, and we will continue seeing you as we update you with all the new machine drops.